So one of the biggest frustrations I see with pupils that come to see me or even comments from YouTube is that after guys hit great tee shots and they're in play, they'll stand up with an iron and this happens. They hit way behind the golf ball. So today's video, I'm gonna show you how to stop hitting behind the golf ball. Now, what we need to understand initially is what's actually happening in the golf swing. So if we keep the golf swing as simple as possible, when you look face on, as we're doing here, that club head moves in a circle around your body. And on the way back, the club head's moving up. On the way down, it's moving down. It reaches its lowest point of the golf swing and then travels back up around the circle. So one of the key skills that is massively neglected, in my opinion, is controlling where the low point of the golf swing is. And that last shot I've just hit, my low point was, I'll say miles behind, clearly not miles, but probably five or six inches behind. So if you were on grass, that would be a huge divot. We could see on the mat, the club just bounced and hit the top of the ball. But sometimes you'll actually miss the ground here. The club will travel up and we'll top the ball. So what we'd ideally like to see on a good shot is a good setup. And we can see on Trackman there, even though I've just turned that over a little bit, the low point of my swing is 2.8 inches ahead. The club's moved down 3.2 degrees. And it's carried 153 yards and 162 total. So I'm sure, and I've done videos on this in the past, I'm sure straight away you'll say, right, I understand that concept, but very often what people talk about is trying to hit down more. Now I have a big issue with that because you've seen already that the club automatically moves up, down, and then back up. So if you try and hit down more, very often it actually just makes it worse and worse. So what we're gonna talk about is a couple of things in the swing and maybe a little drill that's gonna make sure you stop hitting behind the ball and you hit the ball first and then the ground. So the first thing is really in the setup. So I've got a seven iron here, and I'm not saying it has to be perfect with ball position, but as a general rule, pretty central, maybe touch forward of center, but very much opposite your sternum. So what you'll see with a lot of good ball strikers is as they swing back, they stay very centered over the golf ball. You don't see a huge move to the right because then they'd have to move extra distance to get back. So the first thought is to feel like you stay a little bit more centered. And what we'll see is as that low point is ahead, my angle of attack, as we saw in that last one, will be a minus number, which shows the club's traveling down. So we set up and stay centered. And we can see there 2.6 inches ahead, club moving down 2.9 degrees. You can see when that normalizes there, just a little baby draw, 146 carry. Now I would say instantly for a lot of you, that'll feel hugely different because you've been told in the past that you need to move your weight around. It's not so much about moving weight, more pressure. So even though I'm feeling centered, I can still feel as I swing back, there's more pressure into that right foot. So instantly for most of you, that will improve the ball striking. But we could see there, I'm still turning it over a little bit more than I would like. So the second feeling is gonna be a little bit more about downswing. So we're gonna stay nice and centered, and we're then gonna feel from here that we drive down into that lead foot. Again, this is gonna move that pressure forward, and hopefully move that low point a little bit further forward. So swing felt solid. And it's always nice when it actually works. We saw the low point 3.7 inches ahead. Definitely hit ball first, clubs moved down four degrees and we've also started picking up a little bit of yardage at 159 yards. So that are two of the really good swing thoughts about staying centered and driving hard down into that left foot. Now, what I would say is that's very much when you're playing. If you're practicing, and potentially you could do this drill when you play as well, 
is the guys that catch behind the ball kind of understand that they shouldn't be hitting the ground first. And what I'll tend to see is if the ball's in the middle and they're hitting the ground here, they'll instantly say, well, common sense would say, if I move that ball position back, now I should hit ball and then turf. But what you tend to see when guys move the ball back is they'll move their weight back still, but then they'll sit on their back foot and they'll still scuff that shot along the floor and it gets further and further back. So this might be a little bit counterintuitive for you, but if you're somebody that hits the ground before the ball, instead of having the ball in the middle of your stance, I actually want you to move the ball maybe two, three inches ahead. So maybe even where you'd feel you'd hit a fairway wood from. I want you to keep the club in the center and then you've got to try and strike the golf ball first. So you can see, if you move off now, and here's my low point, I'm not even gonna make contact with the ball. So what we're gonna to have to do is we're gonna stay centered. We're gonna push, but we might even have to move our sternum a bit more towards the golf ball. Now be prepared if you're someone that has been hitting the ground first, first few shots, you won't make great contact because you'll be learning what it feels like and it will take a few shots to get going. But like I said, once that ball's in the middle, two, three inches forward, stay centered, and still try and get that low point ahead of the ball. And we can see there, because it's clearly not the first time I've done that, I've still, even with the ball position further forward, got my low point 3.4 inches ahead, clubs travel down three and a half degrees, and I'm now getting it out 163 yards, and it's absolutely dead straight. So I know what you're thinking, because I think the same when I practice that drill. Maybe I should just hit all my shots with the ball position further forward, and that would make me hit the ball a bit straighter. It doesn't, and the more I do it, I start hitting my usual shape. But once you get that feeling of hitting the ball from further forward, understand what the sensation is like for the movement in the golf swing then move the ball back to its usual position and try and get that exaggerated feeling still. And there we go, like that. Obviously not quite as exaggerated, but we can see I'm starting to get some real consistency in low point, real consistency in angle of attack, starting to get the ball out there further and further with less shape. But most importantly, if you started watching this video because you're always hitting behind the golf ball, you're gonna start creating ball and then ground contact. It's gonna take that ball striking to a real level that you've probably not had of consistency in the past, and it's gonna make it fun. You're gonna start taking advantage of good tee shots, and all your pals that you play with are gonna wonder what you've started doing. So guys, hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, like it and share it. Comment below and I'll get back to as many people as I can. There's another video just there that hopefully will help with your game. Hopefully catch up with some of you soon. Stay in contact.